Hi, I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation, and now we're going into the topic, how to help my wife with anger issues, and this is part two. So in part one, we talked about what anger was. If you're coming here without doing part one, this is not going to be as relevant. So I urge you to stop, go back to how to help my wife with her anger issues, part one, and watch that. And there we discussed where anger originates, what it is, it's primal. So now we're going into, and I left you kind of hanging where I said, you cannot help your wife with her anger, which I know you came to this video to ask me, but what do I do? So let's do that, what do I do? Because you can't help her. You see, we have this beautiful gift all of us called free will and it's a two-edged sword on one hand we have free will we can literally do anything we choose free choice free will the limitations are self-imposed almost a hundred percent of the time you may say well what about the environment you know i want to fly but i can't it's kind of an existential question but the truth is even that's self-imposed because we are souls and so as souls, we are comprised with all of the things that God created us to be in his image. And so this idea that we can't fly, even that idea is something that we've imposed upon ourselves. But that's very metaphysical, very extensive. Let's not go there. Let's just say that the free will allows us to do whatever we want. And let's put it in the context of from the starting point where we are. Now, along with free will comes a resistance to anyone in any way trying to tell us what to do. And we may frame it as, but I really wanna help her. She's suffering too. Yes, she is. And that's where we can help her. But let's just be sure that we understand that and you can take a look in the mirror and you could ask yourself has anyone ever told me what to do and I've been able to do it even when I know it's right and the answer is no and it's because we are controlled primarily by our habits so we have a mind we possess the mind we're souls but we have a mind and we have a body but the mind is controlled you might say by all of its habits and most of the habits are controlled by habits under those habits there's layers and layers of habits now i did ha and i said this in the first video i asked for help and god gave me this so technique which is which gives it's an amazing tool because it means we can literally change all of our habits all of them eliminate the ones we don't like eliminate anger entirely from our lives but you cannot tell your wife, try this so technique. You can say, look what I found, but she's not gonna be open to it because we only change when we're ready to change and we're usually ready to change when we can't take it anymore. There's something that is driving us crazy and we go, wow, I can't take it anymore and then we're ready to change and then it's a process. First of understanding what it is and then how to tackle it and all that. Most people cannot change their habits. Now, using the so technique, you can literally make a list and go through the list and change them one a week. Or, <laughs> you know, one a week to get a good start on it. So anyway, going back to your wife. Your wife does not want to be angry, although part of her does. It's become for her, and a lot of it is self-deluding, a useful tool. And that we do that to ourselves. We go, well, yeah, I'm angry, and it works. Well, yes and no. If we own the anger expressions, then we may be able to use it in the world, for instance, during a negotiation or if you're stopped by a policeman and you're a woman and you get angry sometimes that works but usually 
we find the habits that are not working for us and then we start to realize and, and it's a process it's a big process so the bottom line is this you can try to bribe your wife say look if you don't get angry for the next two days I will take you to the nail salon and you'll get a massage and all this it won't work it won't work you could say if you don't get rid of this anger I'm leaving you I've had enough it won't work it just won't work it won't work on your wife it won't work on your friends it won't work on anybody your kids it barely works sometimes kind of on your wife forget about it she has free will there is nothing you can do about her anger and I said this in a previous video don't call them issues anger think of it as this monster that comes in and takes over the mind shuts everything down it stays focused on pushing back that's what anger does you too are experiencing anger your drive to survive is being triggered and you're angry because she's angry now that anger may come out as frustration or some other word but it's still that drive so what do you do and here's where it gets beautiful beautiful you didn't know that was coming did you you are alive in order to evolve forget this Darwinian stuff it's irrelevant as a human being you are intended to grow to become more and more what <laughs> you see I got you the ultimate goal for all of us is to experience ourselves and our true self is ever new joy and ever expanding love that's what we are and I'm not getting into a religious discussion but God created man in his image what is that it's not about fingers toes and a receding hairline like mine is starting to recede it's not about that it's about the qualities of God pure spiritual qualities where you're literally feeling so much joy that you can't take it I meditate to get there but it's not enough to just meditate it's two-pronged you have to both meditate so you go within be still and know that I am God and at the same time you've got to master your mind and that's what you have to do for your marriage too marriage is a microcosmic spiritual path to achieve unbelievable joy and love that's what it's for that's why it was created by God and given to us it's a spiritual path that two souls soulmates take together so part of it is the experience of the love the other part is working on our own mind learning how to master it you cannot master your mind and not experience relief also you cannot find that joy within without mastering your mind the mind is not capable of experiencing love that's not where you experience love in your mind you experience it as the soul in your heart so it's essential to having a joy-filled life slash marriage it is essential to master the mind you can't master your wife's mind in fact it's wrong to try to in any way influence your wife or anyone else for that matter some people justify they go well it's what what do they call it some kind of criticism you know what I'm saying it's um, 
Positive criticism? No, there's a, there's a term for it. I, I can't think of it at the moment, but you know what I'm talking about. And that's a BS term. Constructive criticism is a BS term. Instruction is okay. If someone's asking, well, how do I fasten this? How do I make this tighter? And you say, well, always go clockwise. That's not criticism. That's giving aid when it was asked for in the context within which it was asked. But otherwise, we don't get to. It's not our right to impose on anyone's free will to evaluate where they are in their progress. And ironically, it's not ironic, it's the way it's set up. We're always with somebody whose stuff exposes our stuff. So her anger is exposing your resistance to it and this is where it becomes important to you. You got married to love your wife. You got married to treat her in ways that no one else would ever. And that means that you love her and you don't see the anger. You might see the suffering and what you want to do as her husband is help her feel love. How? By ignoring the anger, putting it aside, seeing it as this obstruction. Think of it as a pane of glass between you and her where you want to kiss her with love, but the pane of glass is in the way. What do you do? You don't break the glass. You work around it. You move around the glass so you could give her that expression of love in a kiss and you see the anger the same way. You have to work around it. Screw that anger. You love her. You're going to be there for her. If she's suffering and has a need, you're going to figure out what that is because you love her, right? You wake up in the morning, maybe you make a cup of coffee for her or the first thing she hears from your lips is, honey, I love you. You were looking for ways to express your love. You can't express your love if you're not experiencing that love. And this is where we get to the thing you really should do. In order to improve your marriage, you have to understand it. Use this problem that you're having with your wife as an incentive for you to take your marriage to the highest plane of consciousness, which is love and joy. And you can't do it on your own. I'm not a psychologist. I was a divorce mediator. And when I was asked for help by one of my clients, I had to get to what marriage is really all about. And because of my various backgrounds, I was able to cobble together this amazing process not just the so technique to master your mind. So the course that we have, no, this whole thing wasn't a setup to get you to buy the course, but it's a setup to get you to understand that you cannot do it on your own, but when you do it, it's amazing. It is amazing. And so like in our course, it's a two pronged approach. One is you're learning about marriage. You learn about the mind. You learn about communication. You learn about all of these things that are important, critical even. And they're so counter to what's out there now. You know, out there now, it's like how to communicate using I statements. What a nonsensical thing that is. I am pissed. Whoa. <laughs> How's that going to go over? So they're nonsensical because people don't understand. The people in the psychological community are good people. They really are. They want to help, but they have no idea. I happen to be an innovator. And so I created this whole way of seeing marriage and I received inner guidance. I know this is real. And so that's what you need. Now, stop condemning your wife for having what you call as anger issues because that's how you found us anger issues they're not anger issues it's an anger problem 
And the problem is, I mean, I, I get out there sometimes. I'll, I'll be honest with you. So what I do is I give things visual ways of recognizing them. So for me, anger is this black blob that just comes in whenever you open the door and takes over your mind. Yeah, it's not that, but, <laughs> but I want to get mad at it. So not angry with it, but mad at it so I can kick it out. She's not there. But if you're behaving in a saintly way, and why not? Soon it'll become less and less of a necessity for her to fall back on. It will less and less become her default. So the way to help your wife with her anger issues is by working on yourself to become the most amazing husband who's ever lived. And that's it. Now, hopefully you're a subscriber. If not, you should definitely subscribe because you'll learn so much. But here's the thing. We're starting to go back to the ground. I started out by working with people individually. And then when my son died in 2008, I just couldn't meet with anybody anymore. And I started training people again because I had to have counselors to work for the Marriage Foundation. Long story, bottom line is this, we're gonna go back on the ground. I'm gonna train tons and tons of people who wanna become real TMF, the Marriage Foundation, marriage counselors who can really help people because my whole thing is get to the marriage that is ideal. Why mess around? It's like having this Maserati and you get in the car, it's got a great sound system and all you do is turn on the radio. It's not just for turning on the radio. A Maserati is for cruising in the most amazing machine, right? And marriage is like that. We get married, we have no idea what marriage can produce, but it's amazing. So why not help people get there? So if you're interested, let us know. We're gonna soon have a landing page on the, web, on the website and then you could sign up so you could learn and become. Okay, God bless you. Thank you for joining me and take care.